What's going on everyone? This is EK1 Gaming here and today's video I'm bringing you an easy way to produce content good sound quality with a camera such as the Sony a6000 which does not have an external microphone port on it okay now this doesn't just work for the sony a6000 this could be any camera that you're using where it doesn't actually have an, a, a, an adapter or a place where you can put an external microphone such as like the boya microphone or the blue yeti microphone which i'm talking through right now now that's a bit of a problem if you're a content creator that wants to produce high quality say 4k videos with great sound or even 1080p videos with that extra edge on the sound okay because sound is a lot when it comes to creating content now cameras like these they produce fantastic video quality but that inboard microphone or onboard microphones are actually rubbish like they're let's be honest they're they're terrible okay so they sound very tinny i'm going to show you at the end of the clip um the end of the video are two clips one of them is going to be with the camera microphone the other one's going to be me using my blue yeti microphone now to do this you're going to need a couple of programs okay now when i say that people are going to think oh here we go what do i have to buy now however these programs are free okay there's two programs you need one program audacity okay the link will be in the description below i am not affiliated with audacity at all okay so the link is just for a free download to get the program very simple just quickly download it install it it is what it is it's a voice recording change your voice settings etc now the second piece of uh, software you're going to need is power director 18 or power director any of the older versions i think this goes back all the way to 14 i'm not sure anything further back than that but basically go from 14 to 18 get any of those there's an affiliate link in the description below i am yes i do have an affiliate link i am affiliated kind of with power director so please use that link to download it doesn't cost you anything it's free okay however it supports me as a content creator if you use that link now that's all you're going to need in terms of software okay you're obviously going to need a camera which i'm assuming because you're watching this video you have a camera that does not have a microphone port okay you're also then going to need an external microphone, which I'm assuming you're going to have as well because you're watching this video, right? So, boya, yeah, I'm going to leave the um, link to this, this microphone in the description below. But you can see it's a bit tangled up right now. But I used it uh, earlier on. It gets a very tangled because it's a very long cable. But as you can see, it's just like a clip-on microphone, clips on your chest. And then you have like the Boya set in here for camera or if you want to use it for... Um, smartphones it also plugs into a smartphone if you've got the iphone don't forget to use your e adapter now if you've got those two things and the software you are ready to go and this is the simplest video i think that i have ever done because i was searching youtube because i only got my a6000 like three days ago for my birthday so i've never owned an actual camera of that caliber before i've always had like a digital camera but for videos and for for pictures this camera is by far the best i've ever owned and to then find out because i didn't research that i didn't have an external microphone port was kind of disappointing because i wanted it to produce content for you guys on my youtube channel and for another project that i'm working on which is going to be released or coming out to you guys shortly um, but that announcement is going to be a little bit delayed at the moment but yeah so then I was searching YouTube and everyone's saying to me, you need to get this cam link from Elgato, which costs something like a hundred and something pounds. And I was thinking the cameras just cost nearly 300 pounds, right? I, okay, I didn't pay for it because it was a birthday present. But if you bought this camera for brand new, this camera's like 470, right? Then a hundred and something pounds on the cam link. Then you got a microphone. I know this microphone was only like 15 uh, pounds. Uh, the blue yet is like 100 pounds right so you're looking at like 700 pound before you even start producing content and i'm all up for cutting corners and making things cheap okay and this is this is what we do because we don't have unlimited resources of money okay we don't make millions we're not millionaires we're not rich we just want to produce content for you guys so 
That being said, you don't need the cam link to be able to do what I'm doing. Okay, you will need the cam link if you want to use it as a webcam. So if you want to use that, that camera as a webcam, you will need the cam link or an alternative product which are, are even more expensive. So for me, that's a no, that's a no. The video recording that's happening now is from my Logitech C220 webcam. I've just put, I've like tweaked the settings a little bit and it's only 1080p, which is fine because YouTube generally 1080p is perfect. So really I don't need it as a webcam because I have a webcam. For me, it's more for doing videos, vlogs, etc. And it's pretty simple, okay? So this method is to do it on your computer. So if you're at home recording in your games room or your office or your computer room or just in your living room with your computer, this is the way to do it. I will, however, release another video showing you how to do it on the move. So if you're out and about and you want to use one of those microphones, like the Boya microphone, because it's very portable, the Blue Yeti, not so much portable, okay? You're not going to be able to use that unless you want to carry it around with you, but it's up to you. But generally, one of these microphones out and about and you're doing some vlogging or whatever you're doing, how to do it by using your smartphone, okay? So just by using your iPhone or Android, but that's going to come on a different video. I'm going to get into this video right now and show you exactly what you need to do. So first of all, what you are going to want to have needed to do is created a video. Okay. Now the secret is when you're recording the video, leave the microphone that's built into the camera on. Okay. Don't try and mute it. Don't turn it off because you're going to need that when you're syncing the two voice files together. So what you're going to do is set your camera to record. So just press record wherever you want it, whether it's on a tripod or whether you're holding it or what you're doing, just set it to record. Now on your microphone or your computer audacity, you're going to want to press the record button as well. Okay. So then when you start talking, you don't have to do this at the same time. Just make sure you press record on both before you actually start your your content, which you want to hit for people to hear. So basically just press record on both, shoot your content and stop both when it's done. Okay. And when it's done, you're going to see you've recorded on audacity, some sound files like sound waves that are like that. Okay. So you're just going to go file export, export as whatever file type you want. I use MP3. I'm not sure if there's a difference between MP3, WAV, etc. in terms of quality. If there is, please let me know in the description below because I don't know. I'm not an expert at this, but this is just how I do it. And it's so simple and easy to do. So simply export it. I've already exported mine and I've saved it on my desktop as test video sound. Okay, so this has just come from Audacity. And bearing in mind, my Audacity, I have only just downloaded it and it's at default settings. So I have not changed any settings on Audacity at all, apart from selecting the fact that it's my Blue Yeti microphone. And that is simply it. So once you've exported that, you're then going to want to get your video file. Now for me, Sony A6000 or Sony A5100, all the Sony cameras have Play Memories Home. But you can plug it into your computer and it uploads to Play Memories and then you save that file wherever you want. I have saved it here on my desktop so i can show you guys what to do so now all you're going to want to do is open power director okay so you're going to have separate right you're going to have the video file that you did which is going to have sound on it from the from the microphone built into the camera but then you're also going to have just an audio file of what you were saying at the time okay so it just voice records what you were saying at the time you were recording the video so all you're going to want to do, open Power Director, go to the little folder and import media files, okay? You're going to want to firstly select your video. So that imports right there. You can see a lovely still shot of me there because that's where I'm basically just clicking the camera to start it. Then I'm moving around and then I'm selecting on Audacity to, because you can cut this afterwards. It's not a problem. You just, you just trim it up afterwards, which you're going to see at the end how it turns out. So then you're going to want to click the folder again import media files go back to where you saved your audio file which is test video sound here and just double click that and that puts that into the window mode it puts it into like the media content okay and then you're going to find your video click it once drag it down into the bottom here so the top row is going to be your video okay now as you can see the video is there and underneath it you've got your in built microphone 
recording okay so basically your camera's recorded this now if you want to drag that out a bit you can drag the time so you can see it a little bit better because generally it should look something like this but i drag it out a bit just so i can see the waves a little bit better and it, it just feels more comfortable for me to use but that's personal preference now what you're going to want to do is get that vi that audio file so the test video sound file or whatever sound file you've got you're just going to drag that to like this one here with this it looks like it's got a speaker there so just drag that there in line with that okay so now select that just by pressing on it once hold control so ctrl on the keyboard and click on your video file as well that means it's going to select both okay Another way is basically you can just like drag it like this, okay, like a box. So just as long as both are selected, that's all you need. Now it's simple, okay. This is the hardest piece of information or hardest thing to do for anybody is to sync audio together, right? So if you're manually going in there trying to sync audio, no, this is not what you have to do. Simply press sync by audio. So as soon as you click sync by audio, if you notice the bottom audio file our um audacity file moved over because it recognizes that we didn't actually start up audacity until that point there so when we started speaking was at this point here okay so the rest of the video is me clicking the camera on turning around fixing the uh, pc so it was recording moving my mic doing everything i need to do so if you wanted to now you could actually cut from there so you could just click cut press that delete remove and fill gap if you do remove and fill gap make sure you click both of them again sync audio and it will move it to where it should be so as you can see i was looking at my computer screen there it was probably a little bit early on the clip but it doesn't matter let's just say for example this is the perfect timing you can filter that however you want it you'll know when you want your video to start and when you don't want it to start if you're looking at when the video actually starts, if you look at these lines here, generally when that goes higher is when you've just said something, you've, you've said something, there's noise, okay? So if it's line like deadline like that, it means it's actually pretty quiet, probably a little bit of background noise of me just fiddling around. So that's a general good start. However, this would automatically now sync with your camera microphone, okay? So it picks up on your microphone waves and syncs your Audacity video, uh, uh, Audacity audio to that it picks up on the same waves so now what you're going to want to do because you don't want them both going at the same time you just want to deactivate the in-camera microphone so basically this little button here enable disable this track you're going to want to disable that track that's underneath your video do not disable the bottom track because that is the track that's done on audacity which is done on your actual microphone okay so then once you've done that you're ready to go. That is it. It's simple. Your video's ready. You just click produce. Then you're going to go whatever video type you want. If you want 1080p, you want 4K. You might not have as many settings if you've gone for the free option. I do have an extended option on this um, because I was sent it by uh, PowerDirector to use. And of course, you're just going to want to then select where you're going to save it to. Click start and it will save. Now, I'm going to show you videos now. One of it with the in or onboard microphone on the A6000. And then the second clip is gonna be with my Blue Yeti using Audacity and using this method where it syncs in. Now, if you look at my lips when I'm talking on the videos that I'm about to show you, you'll see that the sound is perfectly synced. There's no out of sync lip movements like, like this. It's just literally perfect. And it's so simple to do. So guys, don't forget at the end of the clips, hit that like button if you like this video. If you have any questions, hit go in the comment section below. Ask your question. I will answer every single comment I get. And don't forget, it's important to subscribe to the channel for more videos. I will be bringing out some more kind of videos relating to the cameras and how to content create with these kind of cameras and what's the best settings and etc. So please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you all in the next video. So basically, this is just the built-in microphone on the A6000 camera. So you're going to hear me now just basically speaking. Um, it's probably around a foot away from me, the camera. So, And I'm just speaking at a normal 
kind of content creator tone, if that's a thing. Um, it's just how I normally speak into my Blue Yeti or I'd normally speak into any other microphone that I use. So for me, it sounds kind of tinny. It's not the best quality. It's not the worst quality of microphone camera on the A6000, but I know there are some cameras out there that the sound quality is absolutely appalling and you really can't um, even get by by using it. So this is basically just the test for inbuilt or onboard microphone on the Sony A6000. So basically this is gonna be myself speaking on the Blue Yeti microphone. Um, so hopefully you'll understand or hear a little bit of a difference in the quality of sound. Now my Blue Yeti microphone is actually um, set to default. It isn't actually edited in any way or Audacity is also set to default settings. I will play around with some of the settings to get the best voice out of it but I just kind of wanted to, you to see the raw um, footage of both rather than me editing and stuff because it's unfair that you can't actually edit the microphone inside the Sony camera so I kind of want to just do, a, do a, an example of microphone in the camera raw against Blue Yeti default settings raw as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one.